gracious and loving God, we ask you to extend your almighty hand and bless our graduates as they and their families celebrate this milestone in their lives. Empower them to walk into the future with faith, hope, and great love, guided by your light as they continue their education. In the words of Rosa Venerini, do all for the honor and glory of God. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 8th grade awards night. We are very pleased with the class of 2020, and we are honored to be able to honor them tonight. So please sit back and enjoy the ceremony. And it's not quite the same as it always has been, but it's really good to be able to bring more people into the audience. So thank you. The Rosa Chapman, the National Junior Art Honor Society, presents the second annual Propelling Tourism Award for the graduating member who has demonstrated dedication to our chapter, and excellence in art. This year, the $200 scholarship goes to our president, Ella Mason. Thank you for the many hundreds you give us to lead our club. You will be met all. The purpose of National Junior Honor Society is to demonstrate the core values of scholarship, service, leadership, character, and citizenship. These students demonstrate excellent academics as well as serving as role models for the Venerini community. I would like to recognize the eighth grade members of the National Junior Honor Society. President, Caroline Dubray. Vice President, Celia Bouchard. Treasurer, Max Domaleski. General members, Valerie Assar and Ella Mason. This year's members of the Student Council are President Celia Bouchard, Vice President Callie Dubray, Valerie Asari, Robbie Cotter, Valeria Gaffuri, and Michael Hussan. The Presidential Award for Excellence is given to those students who have maintained a grade point average of A throughout their middle school years and in the disciplines of math and English achieved a minimum of 90% in one of these subjects while achieving an 80% minimum in the other on their PSAT testing. The primary indicators of excellence are based on academic achievement. However, also considered as part of the criteria are demonstration of high motivation, initiative, integrity, intellectual depth, leadership qualities, and exceptional judgment. The following students have achieved the Presidential Award for Academic Excellence. Celia Bouchard, Robbie Cotter, and Michael Hussan. Plaques for academic excellence are awarded to students who hold the highest average in each subject area. Art, Hunter Wojcik. Language Arts, Literature, Kelly Debray. Math, Valerie Asari and Kelly Debray. Religion, Justin Makel. Science, Robbie Cotter. Social Studies, Callie Dubray, Spanish, Ella Mason. The Certificates of Excellence are awarded to those students who have exhibited outstanding academic achievement in a specific subject area. For Art, Michael Hussan. For Language Arts and Literature, Valerie Assar and Justin Makel. For Math, Robert Cotter and Justin Makel. For Religion, Valerie Assar. For Science, Caroline Dubray and Justin Makel. For Social Studies, Celia Bouchard and Robert Cotter. For Spanish, Valeria Goffrey Vendro and Justin Makel. Achievement certificates are awarded to students who have displayed commitment and exceptional dedication to learning in a specific subject area. For Art, Valeria Goffrey Vendro and Max Domaleski. For Language Arts and Literature, Nick Germano. For Math, Celia Bouchard, Michael Hussan, and Ella Mason. For Religion, Valeria Goffrey Vendro. For Science, Valerie Assar and Celia Bouchard. For Social Studies, Valerie Assar 
and Ella Mason. And for Spanish, Celia Bouchard and Michael Poussin. Hello, everyone. I'm here to give out the Sandbox Award. This year, we have a special student who's been at Venerini Academy since pre-K-3 and now is graduating in eighth grade. The Sandbox Award goes to Michael Hussan. Congratulations, Michael. God bless you always. Bye-bye. The National Association of Elementary School Principals American Citizenship Award is given to students in their eighth grade year who demonstrate good citizenship by displaying an understanding and appreciation of civic responsibility, by showing a positive attitude, being respectful, and possessing the strength of character and courage to act with personal responsibility. This year, this award is awarded to Valerie Asari. Christian service is identifying and helping those in need. True Christian service is given to family, neighbor, church, and community with no anticipation of compensation or recognition. The Christian Service Award is presented to a student who has demonstrated a commitment and a dedication to serving others. This year's recipient of the Christian Service Award is Michael Hussan. Congratulations, Michael. Well deserved. The Principal's Award is presented to an eighth grade student who demonstrates solid academic achievement. This student provides service to their classmates, teachers, and the school. The student also shows respect for themselves, others, and the school. They demonstrate integrity, honesty, self-discipline, courage, and leadership. This year's Principal's Award winner demonstrates all of these things every day. Her name is Celia Bouchard. Congratulations, Celia. The Rosa Venerini Award is the most prestigious award given to a Venerini Academy student. It is awarded to an eighth grade student who has been nominated and voted for by all members of the Venerini faculty. The award is given to the student who most exemplifies the Christian values that both teachers and parents try to instill in their children. Love for God and neighbor through a genuine respect for law, others and a willingness to serve. St. Rosa had a heart for service and spirituality. When she opened her school, she did so with grace, sensibility, and very little fanfare. This year, we have two recipients described by the faculty members as having genuine respect for others. They describe them as kind, caring, and supportive. They are committed to learning, to their faith, and to giving service to others. They are strong and confident women who exhibit sensibility, grace, and quiet leadership. This year's Rosa Venerini recipients exemplify the qualities of Rosa Venerini. This year's recipients of the Rosa Venerini Award are Carly Dupre and Ella Mason. The Venerini Academy PTO annually gives a scholarship to a deserving eighth grade student. This year's PTO scholarship goes to Carolyn Dupre. Congratulations, Callie. Good evening, Venerini community, teachers, staff, board members, Venerini sisters, parents, and the Venerini Academy eighth grade class of 2020. To the parents, thank you for trusting us with your children. That is a sacred trust which we take very seriously. I believe that this school has lived up to your hopes and expectations and that your children are ready for high school and whatever comes their way. The values you have taught them are evident and we have tried our best to build upon them. And I know that these students are people of strong character because of how well we have worked together. Teachers and staff, this ceremony is always the culmination of your years of hard work. When we look at the students, we see the influence of every person who has worked so hard with them while they were here. You should be extremely proud of the product of your labor because I cannot imagine any school preparing and nurturing its students as well as you have. These are young men and women of faith, of strong values and strong minds. They are part of the Venerini family because of what you have given them. Venerini sisters, thank you for carrying the, mission, the vision of Rosa Venerini here to Worcester and sustaining this school so it can serve students like these. I hope and pray we continue to make, this, make you proud of this school. Board and community, thank you for your support. 
Without a strong board and supportive community, Venerini Academy would be unable to fulfill its mission. And finally, class of 2020, you have been the carriers of the light not only this year, but for your entire stay here at Venerini Academy. When we want to show what Venerini Academy stands for and is all about, you are who we point to. And we tell people this is what we do best. You are smart, you are engaged, you are dedicated. Your faith is clear, you are fun. You have grown into being leaders in this school and are prepared to lead wherever you go next. This has been a year unlike any other. We got to learn what a pandemic is. We got to find out how to learn remotely. We found out the ins and outs of Zoom. Before all this, you were typical Venerini class. Since March, you have grown immeasurably and have helped your teachers grow as well. You have shown that you understand that there are more important things going on in this world than an eighth grade trip or an eighth grade dinner. You under, your understanding and compassion for people who have suffered more is inspiring and truly shows that you are special. You are Venerini and everything we hope in a Venerini graduate. I could not be prouder to have you as my first eighth grade class as principal here. Thank you for being what we hoped you would become. God bless you and thank you. Today is the day that we say goodbye to Venerini Academy. Today we've come together to reflect upon the memories that we've made throughout all of our years together. Our eighth grade year is not what we expected at all. However, while the coronavirus pandemic may have impacted our school year, it did nothing to impact our bond as friends. Writing a speech to describe this year is difficult to put into words. The pandemic was something completely unexpected that impacted us drastically. This pandemic affected us drastically because we came to realize that we never have our final eighth grade field day or the DC trip that we'd been looking forward to throughout all our years at Venerini. And although we may not have been able to make as many memories as we hoped to this year, we still have so many memories to look back upon. The memories include the time in fourth grade when we ate too much Color Me Sunday Crayola ice cream and we all ended up with an upset stomach. When Robbie spilled all the cupcakes off their tray in third grade. All the field trips where the boys would count to 1,000 on the bus ride and no one knew why. Other memories include the long bus rides to, on field trips when we would fight over who got the back of the bus and wave out the back windows to the passing cars. The beach trip in 8th grade when we tried to make a human pyramid or in 7th grade when Michael and Nick drank too much Sunny D and ended up sick. The recesses when we would play wall ball and someone always ended up throwing the tennis ball over the wall. And last but not least, one of the highlights of our 8th grade year, the Christmas pageant, when we ran around backstage and had fun. Although this year took an unexpected turn and some of us came to Venerini in different grades, Michael, who came in pre-K-3, Valerie, Max, Ella, Justin, Nick, and Valeria, who all came in kindergarten, Robbie, who came in second grade, me, who came in third grade, Callie, who joined us in fifth grade, and Hunter, who joined us just this year in eighth grade. We have all made so many memories together as a class. We will miss you all next year. Congratulations to the eighth grade class of 2020.